Oh my gosh, bitch. <laughs> Good afternoon, morning, night, whatever time it is that you're watching this video. Welcome to another Joy the Snapper Tech Preview, Review, Run Through, Summary, less than a couple minutes. We're talking about the best phone to date when it comes to battery life. Sure, Janet. So, is it really? Let's check it out. Dun, ding, dun, ding, dun, dun. Say hello, baby. Say hello to the Motorola G7 Power. Yes, folks. And power is an understatement with this device. Or is it? Not really. So, we've actually had this phone on for the last two days. And look at its battery life. Now, mind you, we're not using it like crazy, crazy, crazy. We're just, you know, having it there for phone calls, text messages, and some random YouTube videos. Right. Let's just say, this baby lasts a while. A while, folks. So now, what makes this baby special? Well, let's talk about it. The display is a beautiful 6.2 inches. But before we continue, folks, this is a low to mid-range device. We're talking a device that's about 250 bucks in most areas. Some places even sell it cheaper than that. This phone, as at the time of this video being posted, has launched for everyone that isn't looking to spend $1,000 on a smartphone or even $500 on a smartphone. This is a premium mid-range device. What I mean by premium is they have a beautiful front glass panel, a nice plastic back that looks to feel very glass-like. We have a beautiful fingerprint sensor in the back. Motorola, baby. Moto fucking Rola. We have a beautiful camera in the back as well with a flash and everything. One lens. In the front, you have the front-facing camera with one lens as well. Here we have a beautiful Gorilla Glass 3 in the, in the front, depending on the market you're buying this from. And it even have a, a splash resistant coating on it, so it could get a little wet. Now we're not talking water resistance, not IP certified, so don't expect to dip this underwater or dip this in a cup of water, or even in the toilet. Don't expect it to survive all that shit, bitches. But it is splash resistant. It could get a little, little drizzle on it if it's raining outside or spec. So in the US, the phone comes with 32 gigabytes of storage and a beautiful three gigs of RAM. It's a little bit on the snappy side. It's very stock Android-y. We have uh, apps running at a very, very swift pace here. Um, maybe a little faster on devices like the OnePlus because we're talking about way more RAM on those devices. But it also runs with an octa-core processor from Snapdragon. We also have a beautiful 12 megapixel camera in the back. Very good quality for the price of the device, by the way. Front camera is 8 megapixels. We're running a beautiful 6.2 inch display at 720p+. plus. As we mentioned earlier, it is a large display, but not too big that it feels too bulky in your hand. The phone is a little thicker than your typical phone, but you don't really notice it too much. And we'll explain why it's so thick right now. It runs with USB Type-C, so it charges quickly with those Type-C portable chargers and those chargers, period. Now, what makes this so pretty and special? 5,000 milliamp battery. What does that mean, folks? We're talking about a battery that's gonna last you, according to Motorola, up to three days. Uh, let's get on YouTube, which is the app that 90% of us use. We'll go and watch a beautiful 4K video. <laughs> Enjoy the snapper as you saw. So let's let's see how it looks. Let's see how fast it loads. Let's see very swift speeds right here. It's connected to our Wi-Fi right now. Ah, and as you can see, it's going to the comments. See, it's, it's swift. It's, it's there. It's good. So let's go in here. Stunning, stunning display, folks. For the price, you're getting a really good display and. You do get that notch expansion. Now, another thing this has is a beautiful built-in stereo speaker. Loud. It's loud, folks. We're talking about a device that costs 250 or less. have that autofocus ability that most premium devices have nowadays now what makes this really really cute again it's 12 megapixels it's a mid-range device folks as mentioned earlier we have a pretty okay decent camera i honestly think it's one of the better cameras look at this look at this look at this that autofocus folks it captures up to 4k video it's nuts the fact that this captures 4k video and it is a budget mid-range device and again with that 5000 milliamp battery we're talking about a device that's going to last you for a while folks even with all those selfies and all those cameras and all those whatever it is you want to do with yourself yeah 
So yeah, there you have it, folks. So Motorola G7 Power. Power is an understatement when it comes to this phone. As it does last up to three days, according to Motorola, it is going to charge pretty swiftly with its Type-C compatible charger. It has a beautiful 6.2-inch display, as we mentioned. Very beautiful design. It has a notch at the top, and it has those beautiful stereo speakers. Beautiful 12-megapixel camera, 32 gigs of memory, 3 gigs of RAM, an octa-core Snapdragon processor, and, the, and to top it off, cherry top, we have that beautiful repellent water repellent coating on top but yeah do i recommend this phone to anyone that has an iphone 10s max definitely not um do i recommend this phone to someone that wants something that's cheap premium and is gonna last you last you bitches last you three days definitely but as always, please subscribe to Joey the Snapper's snapping videos, and we'll continue to give you little summaries and run-throughs on today's latest devices. Have a good one. Subscribe. Au revoir, bitches.